What's goody? What's up? <laughs> what is up, everybody? I am back to do another reaction. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've done my own reaction. Uh, usually do those on the podcast channel, but couldn't make it today. Had work. But <clears throat> we have finally, finally gotten a Nintendo Direct 50 minutes long uh, I was not spoiled. I did not check Twitter or any social media. Um, <laughs> a couple of people told me, like, ah, the direct is kind of... <laughs> so we'll see. But if that is the case, I, I kind of knew. <laughs> I kind of knew, bro. <clears throat> so we will be reacting to the whole thing, all 50 minutes. Gonna be doing a uh, podcast later today. Well, actually, whenever this comes out. We do a podcast every Sunday. Obviously, this was recorded on Wednesday. Um, go check that out. But also, Disrespected Podcast. Sunday is 5.30 p.m. PT. 8.30 p.m. ET. Um, so let's go ahead and start the video. Hopefully, it starts with something fire, bro. Stay in K2. All right, let's go. Yep, due to COVID, release dates have been changed. They've been having that lately, which makes sense. All right, Nintendo Direct, February 17th, 2021. Let's see what they start with first. Not actual gameplay footage. Oh shit, Xenoblade 2? The fuck? I thought this game- One day, Pyra just disappeared. The hell? <clears throat> oh, is this- is this an epilogue? Oh shit, what the fuck? I kind of wish it was Couldn't Rex who disappeared, to be honest. <clears throat> no one knows where she is. I thought... It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Oh, the bed of voice acting. Yeah. A trace. God damn it. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? I'll find you. Whatever it takes. Ah. All right, direct so far a zero out of ten, bro. Zero this out of ten. Pyra! Pyra! Sorry, Rex. Oh boy. I couldn't tell you because I got an invitation to join Snap. What? Huh? Oh shit! What the oh, fuck? I was gonna be in Smash. Just sit back and leave it to me, Rex. What? The power of the oh shit! I was talking to TG, bro. Shout out to the God TG, bro. Bro, we were saying like, bro, it could be a Nintendo rep next, bro, since they had Sephiroth. And I, we were fucking right, bro. Shut the fuck up, Rex, bro. Nobody wants to hear you right now. Damn, she doesn't even really get a cinematic trailer, bro. It's just talk about a tight spot. Oh, and then Mithra. 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 Let me handle this. Unfortunately, a slot was taken out by Xenoblade Chronicles 2 representatives, bro. Uh, but I am glad Rex wasn't in, bro. Fuck Rex, bro. Mithra. Mithra. Cutting it close, huh? Oh, she has her stockings, bro. They censored her, bro. You know, I did not see this coming, but now that the shock is wearing off, um, why? <laughs> like, why? Why? 
I mean... Oh, they can switch. That's kind of cool. I thought they were just going to be palette, palette swaps. Like, oh, you can play as Pyra or Mithra. Oh, and we get a Xenoblade 2. Grumps? Is it going to run in fucking 15 frames like fucking Xenoblade 2, bro? Did you see the world tree in the background, bro? That shit was hella blurry, bro. What's crazy is that was a JPEG, bro, so even the JPEG was... Ah, oh, he's part of the final smash, bro. Ah, oh, bro. Can I get a refund on my fucking fighter's pass, bro? Can I get a fucking refund, bro? Nah, shut the fuck up. I never expected to see you two again. Oh, so that shit was canon? Now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Oh. Fighting Oh shit, Shulk's voice actor is kind of losing his voice, bro. <laughs> like, that, that did not really sound like Shulk, bro. Uh, that was kind of... That was kind of... That was something. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. That was, uh... It was a shock, but I don't not, year, I don't think that was a good shock though, bro. News through a series of Nintendo Direct that mini was, presentations. Uh, oof. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. We've really been torturing our fans. I'm happy lately. to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. Because we won't be having one for another year. We Get appreciate fucked. your continued support. Nah. Bro, I also made a prediction with TG that we're gonna see okay. uh, Super Mario what 3D World <laughs> in this direct, bro. I'm gonna be fucking, I'm gonna be fucking laughing, bro. Game, if we see 3D World. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's <clears throat> two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their move set in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so March. we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. So um, next All right, month. let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. They got a new voiceover, dude. Fall guys. Bro, nobody plays this game anymore. Even bitch ass William, bro, does not play this game anymore. He was hella into it. Richard doesn't play it. Nobody plays this game, bro. You're a little too late. There's no way it looks like this. <laughs> There's no way it looks like this on Switch, bro. Greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system summer 2021. Bro, it's not even coming out soon, bro. By summer, bro, that shit is gonna be completely dead, bro. This shit is already dead. You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind Ugh. by ancient civilization. Oh, look at the graphics, you bro. That shit looks minutes. trash. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. Bro, so far this is, uh, <laughs> this is not good, bro. By repeating these cycles, this is not good. And, and what's crazy is people were asking for this, bro. People were asking what for a Nintendo Direct. Why, bro? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? I don't know. Turn off the game, bro. Oh, that shit buffering on my end. <laughs> that shit buffering, buffering. Come on, bro. Come on. I think I'm gonna cut this out. <laughs> The solar system there we trapped go. in an endless time loop. Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. 360p? Nah, bro. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom <clears throat> Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. 
suspense. That dude's Drama. name is Genshin. That's hilarious. And twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. Mm. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing <clears throat> with amnesia. <laughs> but that's not the only case to crack. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together uh, these chilling the fuck? conundrums. Tezaki, bro? Can you Scary figure out who fuck? the culprit is before it's too late? <laughs> this looks kind of interesting, but... I, this didn't need to be in a direct, though. What's it called? Famicom, Famicom Detective Truth Club. Famicom Detective Club. They're sold separately. Air. And Famicom Detective what? Club. What? The girl who stands behind. They're only Coming one case each game. Switch, May fourteenth. Wow. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. They better, they better be like five bucks each or some shit. A new age of battles begins. Hmm. What is this? Nobunaga. I forgot his last name. His, his name is Akechi, bro. I automatically hear him. On principle, bro. Let's kill Samurai Warriors 5. Damn, there were four others, bro? That's crazy. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs okay. and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 versus 1000 battles. Hmm. So it's kind of like Dynasty Warriors. Samurai Warriors 5. Available this way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. That's, yeah, that's alright. That's alright. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. Fadiel, bro. After 20 long years, Legend <coughs> of Mana, featuring remastered HD graphics, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Legend of Mana. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's oh. up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. That's kind of cool. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame, Ring Ring Land. Turn off enemy encounters? Jeez. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June uh, 24th. I'm sure Lily is happy about that one. I don't know. What is this? Oh, shit. Is this Monster Hunter? Yep. Capcom presents. Rockna Kadaki. You know, for a Switch game, it, it's not that bad. But obviously, we need that Switch Pro, though, bro. Where the fuck is it? Where's our Switch Pro? Almu Almudron. Uh, oh shit, the ski, bro. Oh shit. I can already imagine, bro. Just playing this game, bro. What we're gonna be saying. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Oh shit. 
Go assemble the, the twins village. first. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Oh, please Our don't tell me she's the new handler. To face the biggest challenge yeah, yet. Yeah. No! Yeah. We can't lose this gate! Pull yourselves together! I go chill. Let's go, everyone! Go rampage somewhere else! You listen to me now! Yo, I hope they don't talk as much as they did in World, bro. I like World, bro, but the characters be talking a lot, bro, especially when you're in a hunt. The rampage. How long like, bro, shut up. Going to last? Monster Hunter Rise. Hinoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. Oh, shit. We must stop the calamity. Damn, they're playable or some shit? Or they, they go with you, bro? That's kind of dope. Yes. The deluxe edition system. I think Shinobu's going to... Is buying us the uh, that was the latest trailer for the Monster Hunter controller. Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, shit. The fairway is Mario open Golf? once again. Well, I guess Fire Blast is right about the, the sports title of the Mario Golf series. Mario Coming to Golf. Nintendo Switch. Super Rush. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Then let's play on subpar online. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled Ugh, with lush natural scenery. What the fuck was Bowser wearing? What the fuck? Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, mm. to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. Oh, that's kind of cool. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. Who's making this? On top of all Depending that, on who I might be interested. There are several new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. What the fuck? Including this one, Speed Golf. Speed Golf? Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, bro. then you'll race through the course to Everybody reach your Everybody just running, bro? Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. That's kind of hilarious. Your skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special oh, shots. Oh shit, the to lag, bro. The competition. The the. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom AKA characters. AKA story Level mode, bro. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then allocate points to different stats. Allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf June 25th. Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo on eShop e after this presentation. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer. I want to know who's making it, bro. As well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. It might be Camelot again. I think they made um Please look Aces. Forward to this Aces game on Nintendo Switch. It wasn't bad, but the online was just kind of Let's eh. move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Well, that's cool. I'm sure a lot of people will pick up uh, Mario Check Golf. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora Tales and Tales from the, from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey, Reese, and the quick-witted con artist, Fiona, as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes, filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. 
Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. March 24th. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options mm. to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Again, something Lily would like. The Battle of She's all about free. that retro. Then purchase game packs retro. Or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Isn't the remake coming out? Is also available. Scratch that. That's cool. Street Fighter 2 used to play it all the time when I was a kid. Launches later today. Strider. That's kind of dope. Brains. As a zombie, the you just can't get enough this? of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge what on the city the by turning fuck? humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut this grenades, looks and more during your grisly trash, mission. This bro. city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubs the zombie and Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I better not see anybody hyped for this game, bro. Please do not be hyped for that game. It's Travis Touchdown versus, versus Assassins. Aliens. Wait, aliens? Oh shit. No more Heroes 3 news? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up. Is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating oh, an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking Ooh, tournament. Frame rate look kind, looking kind of spooky. As the crash beam oh, wait, wait, right. assassin Travis Touchdown. Yo, it's looking kind of weird. To save the world. Oh. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the Like, the resolution looks so low. Uh, maybe that's my screen heart. or some shit? Most of them aliens. With some but, like, up their it looks kind of... The resolution Study looking kind of spooky, bro. The upper hand in combat. What's the... With a new so that's 1080p 60. Glow. So this should be... access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to kick some. Uh, I hope they can improve the frame, the, the not the frame, but the anyway, resolution, bro. It all bro. makes sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth, or August you know, 27. They got some time, August but 27. honestly, I hope they, <laughs> I hope they bump up the resolution, Exterminate bro. Exterminate demons in he heaven. As above, Speaking of demons, where the fuck is so SMT3 uh, news, bro? Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Oh, is this like a fast-paced kind of... Hmm. Aw, oh, shit. You gotta use cards for combat? I'm getting Kingdom Hearts fucking Chain of Memories flashbacks, bro. This is... Anything to do with cards, bro, I'm already immediately against, bro. It's not good. It's kill or be killed. Sorry, I'm just oh, never gonna play this game alive, because of that fact. It might be an, it might be a really good game too. I'm just not gonna play it, bro. I don't fuck with cards, bro. Fuck God's that shit. Judgment has nothing to do with it. <laughs> nothing to do with it. Fucking, I hate it when like characters try to sound cool by having that voice, but hey, they got nothing to do with it. It's like, bro, shut the fuck up. Neon Uncover White. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White. Winter Coming to Nintendo Switch. Bro, you know Winter that's getting delayed. Winter 2021. That's getting delayed till January. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. This looks like Hi, everyone. trash. My name is Barbara Gordon. What? Barbara? That's Batgirl? AKA Batgirl. I'm always inviting you guys the to fuck did they do to you? Bro, DC is already DC trash. Girl. You don't need She's to be making strong. trash games. People already well, don't rep. like DC. And let's not forget Wonder Woman. What are you and doing? Amazonian warrior who wields what? the last <sighs> Along what the fuck friends, are you doing? Zatanna, I'm like upset about this now, bro. Like I don't, I'm not even a big fan of DC, and like they're, they're just making it worse, bro. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Oh my god. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, what? Some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Low, low res and, hey, photos. I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. But when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We've just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Team Power heroically what sourced onto Nintendo Switch fuck? June 4th. Why are they showing this on a direct? 
This ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. The fuck is this, bro? What is this? Ah, oh, this looks like garbage. This looks like garbage. Plants vs. Zombies. Battle for what? Neighborhood? I don't know anybody who plays Plants vs. Zombies. I've never heard anybody talk about it in a negative or positive light. Just like no mention whatsoever. I have never heard anybody speak about this about this franchise. Maybe there's a reason for that, bro. <sighs> you know, after a tiring day at work, you come home expecting competency, bro, from Nintendo, and you, I'm just disappointed every single time, bro. What is this trash, bro? Nah, I'm gonna I'm stay down, bro. Fuck the battle for the neighbor, neighborville. Who will join you in your adventure? Hint, anyone can. What is this? Don't Band fucking tell me. Metopia! Evil and save faces. Metopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Me fucking Topia? Turn your favorite bro? people into your allies. Or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a So new this gets remade. This, this was on 3DS. Get them ready for this adventure. gets remade. But other games that people are asking There's for. There's also a new wig feature. Letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. Wow. In the world of Metopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good! Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof! I'm assuming battle. that's new to the game. Venture with friends and familiar faces. What the fuck? <laughs> what am I watching, bro? <laughs> Coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. Oh my god. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo I'm Research. sure people are gonna buy this. Un unfortunately, people will be buying this. Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. Woohoo. Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in-game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. You can also place two warp pipes. Do they actually work? Oh, well, they actually work. That's kind of cool. Then use them to travel between locations oh, on your island. Though. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? A free update for the game launches February 25th. It's so like uh, next week. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Damn, and you gotta buy them still? That's kind of... Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. All right. How much time has passed? We hope you continue enjoying bro, life Oh, it's been like 30 island. minutes, bro. Or almost close to 30 minutes. How was that? Almost These all of this could have just been, other than like no more heroes stuff and the, the Super Smash Mario stuff. This has just events. been. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week I we fucking I called it, bro. I World I fucking Fury knew game. it, bro. TG, I, I told TG, bro, what well. if we see Super Mario 3D World at the Direct Next, tomorrow, bro? We have another game to show you. I fucking knew it, bro. I fucking knew it. To each their own convictions. What is this? Those who have who value uh, respect liberty above all. Oh, wait a minute. Is this... 
What is this? He leaves us no recourse. He's the protagonist. Oh, is this um the 2D HD people who made fucking Octopath? Are these the wages of loyalty? Blazed earth and burnt corpses. You and no other. I know people were looking forward to it. I'll check it out. I didn't finish Octopath. Um, but I, I'm, I'll play. I'll try out this game. Together with these fields, today you burn. This is kind of cool. to do all in my power to see RPG. us through this safely, every last one of us. That's kind of cool. Triangle strategy. Project triangle strategy. Far, far away lies the continent. Wow, it might, it might be a while before we see this game if they're if they're still calling it Project. Deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the I'm sure a lot of Nintendo fans are, will be salty from this fucking direct. Ignited into a great conflict I know I am, bro. What the fuck? The salt iron war. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from That's Glenbrook cool. I feel like Octopath's story wasn't the, the best, in my opinion, just because each character didn't really interact with each other. I mean, you could recruit character other, other characters, but like... Their stories didn't intersect in though. New RPG, if they kind of do that with this, with where like everybody's story inter interconnects and it's all like interesting, I think that's the best thing. The and it's tactical too? That's kind of cool. Ground with long range weapons, such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain I think this might do well. To gain this might do well, hand. especially on Switch because of uh, the fact that people are kind of used to like fire them and shit like that. Attack, but also so a powerful blow from the yeah. ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? That's kind of cool. Coordinated attacks. Into an enemy to send them flying into position for a Oh, attack. that's cool. We so you can like do setups like that's pretty dope. First casting that's actually kind of cool, man. Flames to create water terrain. Then Ooh. electrify the area with lightning magic. Oh, and it starts it a fire or something? Importance to survey the That's cool. Before taking action. Choices and consequences. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions oh. in a variety of situations. Oh, so you have like a morality system where morality, yeah, liberty. Right. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction. What your alignment your is. I, you know, when they first showed cause. this game, I was like, oh, this kind of sounded like Shin Megami Tensei cuz SMT does that too, it has an alignment Do system. We or don't we? Relinquish Prince Roland to S. So that's kind of, that's pretty interesting. Critical decisions that may determine the fates of that's nations dope. are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. Right. You will see what true might is. That's kind of I'm actually that's very interesting. Project Working title, Triangle yeah. Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. 2022. Please be on the lookout that's for like, more information. That's like on Loki. I'm kind of I'm I'm definitely interested After in that. This presentation, oh a shit! Demo a demo? Of this game Yo, will be available that's kind of dope. On Nintendo e and in the future, we'll conduct a survey yeah, to gather do the same thing with, feedback. Like they did we with Arkham. Look forward to hearing your responses that's dope. on the demo. That's dope. Please I'm with look it. forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, I'm let's see it. a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. <sighs> Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? What is this? Oh shit. I see lightsabers. Obviously. Star Wars Hunters. Is that it? 
Legit, is that Star it? Star Wars Hunter wow. is a competitive <laughs> free-to-play online game set between oh. episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. I think they said free-to-play. <sighs> All right, let's do this. All right, Sally. <clears throat> what is this? Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Corgan love battle. Corgan use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. In my line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Come get some. What is this? You're throwing balls at each other, bro. It's like legit. This fucking dodgeball, bro. Is this like a? Be the ball, be the ball. Catch me. Is this a battle royale fucking? Lost it. Can't believe we're losing to a bunch of dairy farmers. Okay, team. They may have won the battle, but not the war. Uh, uh, hey. Can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this of is course, a there's fucking. Oh. Show. Pass to me. Oh. Uh, what? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man. One more game. Knockout City. Oh, my EA? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know about that one, bro. The fight for survival starts now. I do not know about that one. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. Is From this... the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series oh. comes a fight for your life. Literally, I was going to say, that, that character sounded like a discount fucking Monokuma, bro. Known as the Go-Getters Club must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet. Sorry to scare you all, but... The game is suddenly called off. Oh shit. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. I'm the one behind the whole game of fate. As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits oh, you all at the so end of your journey? It's like the a twist on the Danganronpa shit. Like, oh, you're all here to play a game. Onto Nintendo Switch, May but you actually get out of that. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Where's the Danganronpa the reboot from? Of Olympus, with the physical release of Hades. Oh, the physical release of Hades. Hades, the critically Hades acclaimed is good. dungeon crawler like and recipient it. of multiple Game of the Year awards. This is good for everybody who wanted the physical. physical release on that's Nintendo dope. Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. Oh, that's the cool. first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. Oh, nice. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time. Yeah, this game is the dope. physical version of Hades on March 19th. March 19th. I know some people will be picking that up for sure. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Oh shit! Is that Ninja Gaiden? Ninja hey. Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma Two. Sigma Two. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge, Razor's Edge. are coming to Nintendo Switch that's, that's as the dope. action packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Although I will say, we are going to be playing more old games, I guess, still. 
You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, Hayabusa fighting yeah. against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu mm. to swiftly take down enemies. Oh, Quickly shit. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing That's fast dope, though. and frenzy I know combos. a lot of people wanted uh, to play these games again. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. Oh, shit. Of course, they're all fucking All previous downloadable from? content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection sliced its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. That's dope. That's dope. More battles are coming. Oh to shit! Warriors DLC. Age of Calamity. For Age of Calamity. DLC for this bitch. More DLC because Breath of the Wild 2 has been <laughs> has restarted development. Like no, <laughs> no. Oh, that's good art. That's good artwork. I like that art. Expansion pass. Purchase bonus, new costume, expanded roster, newly added weapon ties. Damn, I couldn't even see it. <laughs> That's dope, though. I knew they would do that. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Bravely Default, Default 2 is almost here. Four I'm sure of light will soon embark I'm on sure a they'll show uh, the Persona Christmas. 5 Strikers also. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The uh, game final can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. Mm -hmm. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins February series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the uh, Nintendo You see this? What this the free fuck? This battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named bro, Legends. Bro, TG combat, showed, us, the, the showed us this footage uh, like over a year ago, bro. He's an insider, bro. Look how fucking disgusting this looks, bro. The season eight mayhem uh, uh, Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. That looks disgusting, How's it going bro? so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct. So far, this has been hope you'll stick with pretty us. bad. <laughs> low, low, low key. Look at this. this has been pretty bad, bro. Most of this is just, bro, legit. Oh, wait a minute. Hello there. Wait a I'm minute. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of you Zelda. You son of, of a bitch, bro. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Okay, it's we back. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. You already told us to wait a bit longer last year, bro? While you're all waiting, however, this wait? Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Is it a uh, Skyward Sword or some shit? I fucking knew it, bro. <laughs> It's fucking Skyward Sword. Now, no pixelated clouds this time, bro. I missed them. Oh, wait a minute. It still looks like trash. Never mind. Is it in 60 frames? Yeah. It kind of looks weird at 60, bro. 
happening? What the fuck? Oh my god, this game is trash. <laughs> nah, I actually kind of like this game. It, it has some pretty good dungeons and uh, bosses. It's just, it was way too linear for me, bro, to be honest. Gary him, bro, he fucking freaky as fuck. Skyward Sword HD. Mm hmm. Yeah, everybody was kind of already thinking that it was coming, bro. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. Coming out on another uh, cele uh, anniversary. Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right oh, hand is the sword. You know, swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. You know there's still going to be problems with it, bro? The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. <laughs> by lifting the controller, you Don't can tell me the that they didn't add default attacks. like regular controls, bro. They really they you can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also oh, wait a possible minute. to play the game with button controls. Oh shit! Okay, I spoke too soon. On the Nintendo Switch Lite system, after mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Oh, that's kind of cool. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Ah, that's swing cool. To the right, to the left, or diagonally. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. That they did it, bro. They fucking did it. Here's something else we've been All right. On. Specially designed Joy-Con controller. No, <laughs> bro, they're gonna the be right sold Joy out soon, bro. After the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield. God motif. damn it. The Legend of Zelda now I gotta. Skyward I'm contractually as obligated as a Zelda fan to buy these now, bro. Of Zelda Fuck. Timeline details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. Okay, they added button controls. That's good. We hope That's the good. People who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend of Zelda. July 16th. The Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. Mm -hmm. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, they, they, they really trying to sell this game to people who who only ran. play Breath of the Wild, bro. <laughs> and they kind of have to, because it's so different from Breath of the Wild. I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. The frame rate looks better. Is it 60 or is it still 30? I'm not even sure, bro. My eyes, bro. Please look They're deceiving to The Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword HD. All right, that's kind of cool. I kind of want uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess to come over well, too, but what did you think? I guess uh, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been to ask, optimized bro. for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for All right. today. Please last take a one. Look at this. Last one, bro. <sighs> what is it? Not actual gameplay footage. Oh shit! Oh shit! Splatoon? Oh, Splatoon 3? Customization is still kind of trash though. Yeah, it's still kind of trash. Can't really do much. Oh wait, you got some new hairstyles? Okay, okay, okay. Leg wear. You just like out in the open? Yo! Spl Splatty Tunes 3? Finally, bro! Oh, you get a co-op part? You get a little, uh... Splatty Tunes 3, bro? 
Yo. Okay, okay. Finally, bro. I hope they make so many improvements to the online, bro. Let us play with our friends in Turf War, bro. That's such bullshit. You can join your friend's game, but that doesn't automatically mean you're going to be able to play with them. It's all randomized and shit. This is kind of a cool opening. It's kind of like, it's, it's not very, um, it's not over the top like the other ones were. This is just kind of like, yeah, I'm out in the wasteland. Now I just bored, I got onto a, on a bus, bro. Where do we end up though? Oh shit, is this the same? Oh no, this thing is different. Yeah. This is the plaza, bro. Splatoon 3! Let's go! I know Jay, I know Triforce Jay is hella excited. Hella excited, bro. Oh, shit! Does each person have their own revival thing? Oh, you blast off, bro? Yo! Oh shit, I'm about to get bodied, bro. Bro, finally, bro. A remix version of the Splatty Tunes theme. Giant enemy crab, bro. Yo, that's kind of dope. Okay. Splatty Tunes 3. I hope. Back into the ink. 2022, so next year then. Next year, okay. Bro, I hope they be making those fixes, bro. Make improvements. All right, that was dope. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Splatoon 3, bro. Okay. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Okay. Thank you for watching. Um I would say the Smash reveal was surprising, but I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't really all about that shit, bro. Fuck Rex, bro. He was in the trailer, so that automatically made me hate it, bro. Um <laughs> Then what else did we have? Um, shit, I don't know. The Mario Golf game. Damn, bro, no fucking release date for Shin Megami Tensei 3. What the fuck? That's some bullshit, bro. So Mario Golf Super Rush. The Smash announcement. I'm sure that's, you know, people are kind of freaking out about that. Um, Skyward Sword HD with button controls. That's dope. Um, Splatoon 3, Splatty Tunes 3, uh, I'm hyped, I like Splatty Tunes, uh, and then, to be honest, I mean, the Ninja Gaiden collection was cool, everything else was just kind of eh, oh, uh, also that Project uh, Triangle, fuck, I, for <laughs> I forgot the name of it, it was like that, pro um, it's that next game from those developers who made uh, Octopath, that game looks pretty cool. That has a demo today. Um, but those are like, that's like what, five announcements in 50 minutes, bro? Low key, that should have been like 20 minutes. Like that, that did not need to be 50. That was way too long. So much filler, bro. I could care less, bro. That fucking, what was that game? Uh, that DC Super Teens game, bro? Like, bro, why are you fucking showing that, bro? You did not need to show that. Ugh, God. Overall, bro, I... Shit. It was kind of bad. <laughs> it was kind of bad. I mean, it, it had some good announcements in there. Don't get me wrong, Splatty Tunes 3, that's dope. Pyra, eh, to me, but I know some people might enjoy it. Uh, Skyward Sword HD... Um, Ninja Gaiden, 
But other than that, and you know, Mario Golf, I know some people are excited for that. But other than that, bro, most of the announcements were just kind of, uh. So I, it was kind of trash. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> it was kind of trash, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know. I, I know TG said he gave it a 3 out of 10, bro. I, I might be going that low, bro. <laughs> I might be going that low. Maybe 4 out of 10. Just because I'm... I'm I don't, he's not really a fan of Splatty Tunes like that, I don't think. I, I like Splatty Tunes. But that was... Uh, oof. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my reaction to the uh, February 17th Nintendo Direct. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, hope you all stay tuned to the channel. I will be starting a new series on my Twitch, which I will be bringing to YouTube um, as VODs, obviously. So stay tuned for that. Um, check out our podcast, The Disrespected Podcast, uh, 5.30 p.m. PT, 8.30 p.m. ET every Sunday, typically. <laughs> Sometimes we take breaks, but it's every Sunday. And... Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.